You're very welcome back to the final part of tonight's show. Sunday Times columnist Aoife McElwain is treating us to a can't cope pasta sauce. Aoife, how are we getting started here tonight? Okay, well, this is, as I've said, the recipe for when you are exhausted, overwhelmed, yeah. stressed, uh, but, yeah. you, yeah. but you, you feel like, I mean, uh, come on, we're all... Well, there's a there's a, just a couple of things yes. to be stressed about in, in this modern world. Um, so I think sometimes it can be really easy to just go for something that might not make you feel super great. For me, uh, if I'm feeling very, very overwhelmed, I might reach for Cocoa Pops, um, yes. which is not, uh, yeah. no offense, Cocoa Pops, no. it's not, I suppose, a real dinner. No. So um, this is a recipe that I kind of came up with in the middle of the first lockdown. Um, so it's, it had happened, I didn't have anything in the, in the pantry. Usually I have a great pantry stocked with kind of herbs and spices or, you know, fresh food, fresh vegetables. But I think I hadn't been to the supermarket for a few days um, and I'd started to eat, my eating had kind of become not great. I was isolating alone. So there wasn't the same responsibility yeah. to cook for other people. So this recipe, was something that I knew after day two of Cocoa Pops for like <laughs> breakfast, yeah. lunch, dinner. I was like, need a so meal now. change because yeah. nobody else is going to pull me out of this. It's, and it's, it's pasta as well, me. which everyone stocked up on at the beginning yeah. of the pandemic. Okay, yeah. So let's so get cooking. Start that. with the pasta. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. So um, okay. So what we do here is um, a couple of tablespoons of olive oil, mm -hmm. um, and we're going to basically use some smoked paprika. Mm -hmm. and okay. some garlic powder. Um, so garlic powder is, uh, it's not anywhere near as good or delicious as real garlic, but if you're in that- In a hurry. If you're yeah. in a hurry, or, and if you you're can't like, or you're like, and you can't cope, <laughs> yeah. you're like, girl, this is my friend. Okay. So, yeah. All right. so we uh, take about a tablespoon of paprika. Mm -hmm. um, we're gonna go with some garlic powder on top of that. And so it, not and to feel guilty about not the real garlic because this is it, when you're in a bit of distress and, and you just I want really to did to feel I did feel guilty about it for a while and I'm somebody who loves to cook I, I know how mm. to cook uh, I cook most days and then I think sometimes when you are struggling or you're feeling like you are overwhelmed these these shortcuts are really really important yeah. um, to just just help you feel more comfortable in the kitchen yeah. and what happens is for me in, in this part of the cooking is, is actually such a beautiful part when the smell starts yeah. to get yeah. you. And it's a really calming mm. thing, I, take I think. It, that's not on a high heat, so you're just like simmering it. Good spot, mm. Martin. Yeah. So it is really important to just have that on like a medium heat because you okay. don't want to burn those spices. Yeah. No. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and then we're going to add um, a tin of uh, chopped tomatoes. Okay. Oh. Okay. Um, after this is had about maybe a minute or two. Um, so, um, we're going to mix that in. This is so fun. <laughs> <laughs> this is therapeutic this just is, watching. I'm just like staring. But, but I know. And it's like, I think it's something about the mindfulness that we can get from cooking. Mm. Um, and it's something that I, that I really care about. Um, I wrote a book a couple of years ago about burnout. So I am actually a professional cant coper. Um, <laughs> but I've also started a life and career coaching business um, to kind of specialize in confidence, creativity, and crack. Mm. Um, and cooking is such a big part, I think, for us to to find a bit of, of, of crack in our lives. Because yeah. it's, it's and also this lovely creative. feeling and being mm. creative. Yeah. And also having the confidence to just cook for yourself. Yeah. I yeah. think yeah. I think lots of us feel like, oh, I don't know how to cook, or that's something that people on yeah. TV do. But I'm on TV and I'm using garlic powder, so okay. if mm -hmm. I can do it, you can do it. Okay, so yeah. that's now starting to blip away there. Yeah, I'm going to add some sugar, about a tablespoon or so. Okay. I like using brown sugar, but if you've just got yeah. castor sugar, that's fine. Right, okay. So brown what sugar. that does is it's, it's important for the tomatoes because they can be a bit acidic. Okay. So you're just bringing a sweetness to the sauce. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, then, Salt and pepper, very important. Um, and that's, if you can believe it, that's... That's your that's, sauce. That's it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> that is it. So a bit of garlic powder, a bit of paprika, yeah. some brown sugar, oh, yeah. Yeah. tin of tomatoes, yes. salt and pepper. I'd never and, have thought of putting paprika in. Yeah, oh, and yeah, I guess I, I would have got that from... I used to love to put... Um, 
chorizo with anything kind of tomato based. Yes. I'm just eating yeah. a bit less meat these okay. days, but the paprika yeah. is what that, that flavor is. It's a special kind of, flavor, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But what is also amazing about this is this is a basic recipe, so you could bring it a little bit to maybe South America if you wanted to add chilies, yes. cumin, then you can add some... You can add to it, but this is kind of like the basic yeah, exactly. recipe of, of something simple. Mm -hmm. when exactly. You're... Okay. Um, and then you can also, if you wanted to make it more Middle Eastern, you could mm. add sort of different different spices, so um, Ras Al Hanout kind of spice, mm. um, or even turn it into more of a curry um, if you wanted to put some peas or curry powder and then you can slowly build up to actually chopping an onion and chopping some garlic <laughs> okay, if you yeah. want to but yeah, it depends on the mood take a yeah. bit of time to do that if you'd left okay. over so the next day you were feeling a little bit more fresh chop up an onion and some mushrooms yeah, yeah. Add to it, yeah. Well, but of course yeah. With, with all the different spices you can put in like, mm -hmm. like you're literally yes. traveling the world with yes. the tin yes. of tomatoes exactly Absolutely. which was really yeah. important during lockdown for me actually i did a lot of traveling through food and music and mm. books um, yes yeah. so it was a really lovely way to travel sometimes all three i'd be reading a book I was reading a book about Miami and Cuba, listening to some uh, Miami sound system, mm -hmm. eating some Cuban food. <laughs> that would work. Yeah. Yeah. When you're on the road, Ash, like, I know that when it's Mrs. Brown's, yeah. there's a catering tea. No, 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 not when we're doing... Well, yeah, only at weekends. All right. Yeah. Okay. So, um, so when I'm, like, for instance, there's five weeks over in Glasgow, right, living in an apartment. OK, well, that's So different. I was doing my own cooking. Yeah. I would love to have had that recipe. <laughs> oh, I you know? mean, yes, very, mm. I kind of, yeah, I'd be honest. The odd occasion, I I got a steak and, and decided to do a few veg with it and so on and mm. so forth. But mostly it was pre-packed foods. I, right. you know, I can't, I know I'm not allowed to mention names, but, okay. um, you know, good quality meals with no additives and so on and so forth, straight in the microwave. Just handy. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Shame on me. Not to look after no. ourselves when we're just cooking for ourselves. Mm. But we can't hear. We've got about a minute left. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I forgot to put lemon juice oh, in Oh, lemon there, juice, right. That, you know, would you just squeeze that in? You go, yeah. Yeah. Everybody yeah. knows how to squeeze Gorgeous. a lemon. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, I just do that to catch so, any seeds. Okay. Um, and then, yeah, I can pop in some herbs as well. I've got some Parmesan, cheese. Parmesan yeah. but we're going to plate up um, for you guys. Mm. Um, okay. So. okay. So. And that pasta, that's a, what you, what you call that? This particular? one is a little rigatoni, but it's rigatoni. just, it's just um, whatever you, whatever whatever you, you like, have. whatever yeah. you okay. have, exactly. But also, put it on toast, that's fine also, you know? Okay. Yes. Yeah. So, um, like you said, throw it on a few fried potatoes, it will still work yeah, there too. Oh exactly. I love that, with a fried egg as well. Mm. I think there's something really comforting about having like breakfast for dinner. Yeah, I think it's a really good. Story. All right. Well, while you're plating up, a few people have been in touch. Uh, Fiona emailed when I was younger. My party piece was red, 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 red wine. I'm still uh, made sing it 20 years later, probably Cute. with a glass of red, red <laughs> wine. Yeah. Uh, Colin got in touch to say, "Great to see Irish on the show tonight. I worked with her in the Everyman Theatre in Cork, and she is an absolute star and a pleasure to work oh, with." Oh, thank you, okay. Colin. Was it? Okay, Colin. Look, that's thank right. you, okay. Colin. Oh, I like oh, the parmesan too. on top as well. I always think that's a really nice finish and touch, isn't, isn't it? it? Uh, okay. Yeah. And by the way, the amount of people in touch saying they were cracking up watching you and Brendan when you well, dropped that looks the wrong line. Really the other way. delicious. Loads. <laughs> saying how much they enjoyed. That's all we have time for tonight. A massive thank you to Eilish O'Carroll, Michael Harding, Amy, and Aoife McElwain for tonight's delicious dish. Okay, Lovely. Yeah, which I don't think you're getting any of. Anyway, we'll be back at the same time tomorrow. Louis Walsh will be joining us to sit down and have a chat. Uh, Richard Chambers will be here too to talk about his new book. We'll see you tomorrow at 6. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yeah.